Hello, in this problem we are going to find the derivative of this function. We have h of x equals f of g of the sine of 4x, and the question is to find the derivative of h. So first recall the chain rule from calculus. The chain rule, so chain rule, says that if you take the derivative with respect to x of a function, say f of g of x, I think of f as your outside function and g as your inside function. And so basically you take the derivative of the outside, okay, and you evaluate it at the inside. So you leave the inside untouched. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inside function, so g prime of x. This is a very powerful rule that um, comes up in single variable calculus. Uh, there is an extension to more than one variable as well. That is a lot messier. So in this particular problem, we have multiple chain rules. We have f of g of sine of 4x. So let's just go ahead and try to do it. So carefully, h prime of x. So our first outside function is f. So we take the derivative of the outside function, okay, f prime. It's a funny looking f, I don't know what happened there. And you leave the inside untouched, g of sine of 4x. If you're confused about the parentheses, just count. One, two, three. One, two, three. You should have the same number of parentheses. See that? One, two, three. 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 Okay. Times the derivative of the inside. So now the inside function is g of the sine of 4x. So we have to use the chain rule again. So g is our outside function. Sine 4x is our inside function times the derivative of the inside. But again, we have a chain rule again. Sine is our outside function, so its derivative is cosine. Leave the inside untouched, which is 4x, times, again, the derivative of the inside, which is 4. So multiple chain rules. Let's go through that again. Let me just zoom in so you can see a little bit better. I know it's small. So we took the derivative of this, right? So you take the derivative of the outside, so f prime, leave the inside untouched times the derivative of this piece here. While well, g is your outside function, so you take the derivative of g, leave the inside untouched, then take the derivative of sine, leave the inside untouched, etc. So you basically, you look here, you take, first you look here, you take the derivative of the outside, leave the inside untouched, okay, then times the derivative of this, right? So again, another outside function, then times the derivative of this, and then times the derivative of this, and then times the derivative of 4x. So it's like you keep going inside, 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 inside until you finish the process. And I'm just going to leave it like this. You can just put the 4 in the front, uh, but that is the correct answer. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone who is studying calculus. Good luck.